Talk of the Town was sponsored by Root and Riddle Equine Hospital. Well, you know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctors away. But when that doesn't work, where do the world's top equine athletes come? Root and Riddle. How many horses will you scan in a day? So between all of our different diagnostic imaging modalities, so radiographs, ultrasound, CT, MRI, scintigraphy, PET scan, we're probably looking at about 50 horses a day. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting. And they come from all over. They do. They, they come from local farms in Kentucky. So we have lots of yearlings who are having some surgeries just to make sure they're all ready to go out and be athletes. But we'll also have horses coming from all over the country. And we see many breeds of horses. We certainly see race horses and young race horses before they've entered race training. But we see jumpers, we see dressage horses, we see backyard ponies, we see saddlebreds. I mean, every day is different and it's really nice having access to so many different breeds and types of horses and the people who come along with them. Because, you know, I've yet to see a horse drive itself to the veterinary clinic and ask for veterinary care. So it's nice to see the people and their stories who come along with these horses. Well, horse people are the best kind of people. You must just love your job. It has to be so rewarding. It is. I mean, I think I have the absolute best job on the planet. It's, it's pretty great. Every day I get to come to work and I get to do something new and I get to feel like I am, I'm helping horses. I get to feel like I make a difference every single day. Well, we love what you do. And if you have a second, I have a sore right here. Uh, can you Let's check this out, a sore oh, arm. Um, I yeah. gotta be honest with you. Yeah. I, I think that's practicing medicine without a yeah. license. So okay. well, can't, can't do that one. Oh, well, <laughs> all right. to try. Well, thank you so much for peeling back the curtain a little bit on what happens here at Rude and Riddle. You are so very welcome. And uh, what are some of the technologies that are out there right now to improve safety? Maybe the most exciting thing that's coming along are what's called inertial sensors, and they're used in all different species and all different athletes, but essentially we're trying to detect if they're sort of a, a signature or a footprint um, or a fingerprint, I guess is a better term, that a horse has in its normal training program, and if they get out of that sequence based on the sensors within the saddle pass, uh, cloth, sorry, within the saddle cloths, um, does that mean the horse has to be looked at more, more closely? And that hasn't been completely validated yet, but these are the type of things, um, and maybe using AI to try to, that data is gonna be like all over the place, but if you have a way to get, sift through that data and then be confident that um, this horse should be stopped at this point and be looked at to, to try to reduce the risk population in a race, and that's really, the goal is try to get to zero. I mean, whether or not you can get it to zero is a different question, but that's the goal. Yeah. So many modalities and, and takes a lot of education to employ those modalities, which you all specialize here at Rude and Riddle. You have a fantastic job at the track. Tell everybody what you do at the track. Our national organization is the American Association of Equine Practitioners. And there's a program called the On Call Program, and it's been around since 1982, I think, is when it started. So what we're there for is to be a liaison between the the, the people that care for the horses on the track are the Kentucky Horse Racing Commission veterinarians in Kentucky. So uh, what they'll do is if there's an injury, unfortunately, we, we will, uh, that happens, but it's, but it's important that we convey the information accurately to the general public. So my job is to communicate with the um, KH, KHRC veterinarians and then I would be interviewed by the television talent, you know, that, and they'll, you know, like NBC for the, for the um, uh, Oaks and the Derby and then we convey what we know about that injury. We sometimes come back with other information uh, later if we have it. And then also there's sometimes some curiosities like the horse has had a certain procedure and now has been very successful and I'll ask about that. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the, the point of it, the program, we want to be transparent. No one's trying to hide anything. And if bad things happen, people need to know that. But by the same token, we want the public to be, you know, you know, assured that the horse is being taken care of. Absolutely. Gosh, I learned so much today. I mean, this place is amazing. Awesome. Did you hear that? It's a horse calling. I think he needs me. I'm coming, I'm coming. You're not a vet. Today's Talk of the Town is sponsored by Rude and Riddle Equine Hospital. That place is so cool. I love visiting Rude and Riddle. All of the information is up on the screen.